All right, this morning we are going to look at uh, text types, general text. We are going to be familiarized with what this text actually is. I will be giving out to you, each of you a copy of a text which you will read in pairs and then we will go through the text together to understand how it is being structured and see the features of the text and we are going to identify what type of text or gender type is this text. <laughs> text already. We are going to uh, have a checklist now to see how this text is being written and is structured. What kind of text is this text? Can I ask Duren, what kind of text is this text? Very good. It's a recount text. How is the text structured? The text is structured with an introduction. We will make up a, a, a checklist now. Firstly, we have a... What's that? Introduction. Can I ask Sarah, I, to tell me, in the introduction text, what are some of the things that you find in that text? What is Let's say the text was written using the question tags, what? W. 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 So, Sarah has mentioned one which is what, so we find what in our text that we have just read. So that would be our second part of the checklist. What else do we find in this text that also has or should have a W question tag in there? Simeon. When is the recount happening? In the text you will also find there's time mentioned in there. Is that correct? So we say the next one would be when. when. How is the sentence structured after the intro introduction? Sentences of events. We'll have it as part of our checklist. Good. What else can you find from the text? There's a not feeling so opinion. Very true. That would be the next part of our checklist. Now, can I ask uh, Sarah to help us give an example of a personal feelings or opinion that you find in this text? Excited. Excited. Very true. This is uh, an example of personal feelings or opinions. Now, what are the tense used in this uh, text that you have just read? So, I will put past tense as a, uh, another part of our checklist. Now, you should remember that in every recount text, it is always written in a past tense. Now, can I ask Grace to give me an example of a past tense? Excellent. So, we'll have this word as part of our word bank now, so it will come under past tense, got. Now, what are some of the other past tense that you can see or find in this text? But. But. Thank you, Bobby. Nice answer there. But. Right. Uh, what are some of the words again you can find in this text? Adjectives. What else can you see in this uh, text? Nouns. We have the answer there. Now, very good. Uh, there's a particular type of noun. What is that? Pronoun. Pronoun. We have, we have the checklist here. And there are these pronouns. Pronouns refers to people in the text. Can I ask if you can give me some examples of uh, pronouns used in the story? We. We. Very good. What else can you find? In there, there is also a pronoun. My. In the text type, the writer put things in order and he uses time connectives. What are some examples of time connectives that you can see there? Next. What else do we have 
as our time connected. Last. Last. Why is the writer using those uh, time connectives in this uh, text? The author is this time connective to show the sequence of events. In the text we find that there are pronouns there. Now what are the pronouns referring to? It refers to the first person which we write in the result. But just to recap what we have uh, discussed together as a class, I could ask you to look up as I go through them. In, in a recount text, these are all the features that we should have in there. And it should be as a checklist every time when we have this, we can give a tick. Just to say I have this in my text and you give a tick as you go on with your uh, writing of a recount text. All right, yesterday we talked about a recount text, a type of general text. So we discussed that yesterday. We will continue on again today. On the board here, I have a picture. Okay, these two people there cooking. Let me say, uh, this is me, myself here. I am telling story to this one here, telling him what I did Yesterday, we went fishing and unfortunately, I was a bit nervous and I did not catch any fish at all. So, I am here now with my friend telling him if he could share some of his food there on the fire to me. You are going to brainstorm with your partner and maybe pretend that you are one of these person and you are going to talk about what you did yesterday. I have this uh, mind map completed. Let's look at the checklist to see what we have what here. He went fishing. Okay? When? On a sunny morning yesterday. Okay? Where did he go for fishing? At sea. Or we might say went to the sea or at the sea. In your discussion, make sure you have to have in mind what should be included from our checklist when you are discussing. You should consider this one, have, have them in your mind so that it can help you to do the uh, brainstorming and the mind mapping together. <laughs> you are going to make a flow chart of what happened in sequence, what actually took place. I am going to give an example up on the board. And then I will give you papers to complete as your activity. Let's say this picture, as I've said earlier, this person went for a fishing trip and he caught no fish. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, good. Now, I might say here, I went, what? Fishing. fishing. What would be the next one? Okay, I might say here, I caught no fish. What might be the last one yet? I was angry. That's what we will do in our next exercise, which I will give you papers to make up a flow chart of events that happened in sequence. All right. Thank you, class. We have a uh, completed discussing uh, the sequence. You have nice uh, flow charts of the sequence there. Uh, we are going to use another strategy and that is odd sitting strategy, which I will call a few of you to come and sit on the seat and then there will be questions asked from your recount. I will ask Audrey to be the best Come and uh, take the odd seat. Rodri is going to say a recount to us. After she completes a recount, uh, we are going to ask questions to her to get more information about her recount. This is me and this is my friend. Um, I woke up early on Friday morning 
getting ready for my fishing trip. I went for a fishing trip down the river. I didn't catch any fish. I went back home and I met my friend cooking. I was very tired and hungry. Did your friend give you anything? Yes, she gave me some fish. How do you feel when you didn't caught any fish? Very angry. We have completed uh, our exercise for today. Uh, we have covered brainstorming and we also covered the uh, flowchart. This brainstorming, a flowchart here, is how the sequence that should be included in a uh, recount text. We also did odd sitting. Uh, for tomorrow, we are going to look at something similar. From the experience that you have now, I believe tomorrow we are going to do modeling of writing. So, uh, this morning we are going to look at something new, but it's in line with what we have learned so far. From Monday, recapping what we learned from Monday. Uh, Monday, we looked at uh, some of the recount features. We looked at that on Monday. Uh, on Tuesday, we got some ideas on how to write up a recount text. This morning, I will be getting some ideas from what we did yesterday on the pizza of a mind map. Can you remember that? Yes. yes. I am going to further model how to write up recount text. When I'm modeling, I want you to be with me to make sure that we are going through the checklist and we are doing the right thing. So everything on the checklist must be included in our, uh, in my model writing. Our story will be the fishing trip from yesterday. Okay, this is what our story would be like. Yesterday, yes. Now yesterday is what we say in our checklist here is when. When did this thing happen? It happened yesterday. yesterday. Okay, good. I woke up. Now, this one here is the first person, which is you. So, over in our checklist, I am using a pronoun. pronoun. Okay. Yesterday, I woke up excited about going fishing. Now, fishing in our checklist would come under what? What did we do? Or what was the actual activity? Going fishing. Very good. Okay. And we continue. I is an example of a what? Pronoun. Pronoun. Okay. Or the first person in this story. I was. What's this one? Past tense. Was past. an example of a past tense. Past tense. Okay. Very good. Angry. Now this gigantic word is taken from our word bank. Can you remember that? Yes. Okay. Gigantic. Okay. Now, this is the first part of the sentence. Yesterday, I woke up exi excited about going fishing. I was angry and really hoped I would catch a gigantic fish. I've missed punctuation. Can anyone guess where? Full stop. Thank you, Michael. Where will I put the full stop? <coughs> Which sentence are you referring to? Fish. Fish. Over here? <coughs> yes. Where else? Fishing. Over here? Yes. Oh, good. Let's check our checklist. We have C here. Yeah, is it something to do with what? What is it referring to? The C. Very good. Uh, it refers to where. So I think we are alright with our checklist. We continue. Alright, uh, this is our sentence. But I would like 
to make this sentence become more clear and understandable to you. So I might add something more to make it look uh, attractive in the, to the reader. So I might add some some words again here. Yeah? We have I quickly dashed to the sea and then we can have something comma here. I hope this is much better. When a reader reads, you might know where the sea is. Is it close by or is it far? So that's how it should be. Anyway, <clears throat> we have uh, just gone through gone through modeling of writing. So uh, those words that I use, I got them from the word bank, time connectors, and pronouns that we have listed earlier to put into our modeling. So uh, we also used this checklist to help write up a uh, context. Uh, today, we are going to do writing. You will use your idea that you have come up with from the web banks we used yesterday. Can you remember that? Yes. And the checklist we have here. We are going to use that to write up our account text. Now, some of uh, you students will be using this writing frame here, which has all the checklist on the side, which will help you to write your text. I will be working along with group uh, one and five, uh, which most of you will be working uh, independently by yourself. What you should have in your text, you should consider this checklist here. We have those W question tags, what, when, who, why, where. Make sure you have the sequence in order. And the personal feelings and opinions, the use of adbe uh, adjectives, adverbs, past tense, pronouns, and most importantly, time connections. Also, your web veins and yeah, the others that we have covered. Uh, I'm going to leave you writing your introduction. I'll work with the other group. I'll be back up to 15 minutes to see how you improve your introduction. Uh, we are doing a jo joint recount here. So I will be asking questions. When I do ask questions, you give me your answers. Our picture here says going fishing. Koiba, when did you go fishing? Yesterday we went fishing. Yesterday we went fishing. Okay. Okay, we can use some, uh, right. some of the checklist that we have learned here at Elves and all this. Okay, say it in a sentence. We went through that. Steward, you can repeat yours again. In the morning. In the morning. Okay. Where? In the morning. Who was with you in that fishing trip? We are doing a joint, so all of us. So. My friend. My friend. This, these are the points that we have listed down here already. We are going to put it into a recount. Get these points, put it into a recount. Yeah, I'm back. How, uh, how are you with your writing? Are you okay? Yes. Good. Uh, has anyone of you include a uh, head verb in your writing? Give you time to look at that. Okay. Yes, Redmark? Redmark says no. Audrey, what's yours? Have you got yours there? Okay. Uh, what is an head verb, by the way? Want to check the dictionary? Okay, quickly, Sarah. Help us. What? Tell us what is an adverb. Any idea, Michael? Adverb? No idea. Okay, we wait for Sarah. Sarah, you tell us what is an adverb. 
I read the tells you all when we are over while something happened. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. We can say in another word it describes verb. Excellent word. Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, is there a place in your recount? Just look at your recount and see is there a place in your recount you could add an adverb to give uh, more detail to your reader? Yes. Good. We are going to look through our writing, our recount again to see if we have uh, verbs in there. Okay. Do you have any there, Audrey? What's yours? Walk. Walk, okay. Uh, how can we add an adverb there to? Walking faster. Okay, very good. Uh, Michael, do you have any verbs in your text? Yes. <coughs> Can you help us? Tell us. Woke up. Woke up. Okay, very good. Woke up. Uh, how can we add a head verb in there? I woke up <coughs> quickly on Tuesday morning. Oh, very nice. I woke up quickly on Tuesday morning. Well done. Uh, I'm so glad to see that you have included uh, head verbs in your writing. Uh, we will stop here. I'll leave you to continue on with your uh, writing. This morning, we are going to do a peer assessment. And this is what we'll do. You will get the text that you have uh, written down yesterday to read to your partner that is sitting close to you. As you read and also he or she reads back to you, make sure you have what uh, the checklist there in your mind as they read and you also read. Yesterday was a beautiful day when I woke up. My friend and I had already planned for this day. I quickly threw out of the bed, bed like a bird, got my hunting gears and went to my friend's home to pick him up. We stayed till the next day and we went home. It was very, it was very happy because I had a good week in my life. It was very exciting to have a good week. I would like you to swap your recount with your partner that is sitting close to you. Uh, we will go through the checklist together with your partner's uh, work. So I ask you now to swap over the papers. You look at your partner's work as I go through the checklist. You can use different colors to underline, circle, or tick those things that is mentioned in the checklist. Are you all with me? Yes. Good. You should have a different color pen to show that these are different things there. Okay, in our uh, checklist, we are actually doing introduction here. We, you check your friend's uh, work. Does he or she have uh, what included in this recount? Okay. You yourself decided that you circle or tick or underline. All right, uh, the next one, when. You just look through your partner's recount to see whether they have included when or E or C as when inside or in a recount. All right, the next one is who. Who is involved in this recount? Is it me? Is it my friends? Is it John? Is it Peter? Give a tick, a second, underline. The next part is sequence of events. You see uh, other sequence in order, you number them. One, two, three, and so forth. All right, you also look at this, is there a time connective in those 
sequence of events. As you go through the recount, you can also look at the structure of the sentence. Is it in the past tense? Just check to see. And is there pronouns also included? Okay, I'm so proud of you. You have done well. Uh, you have, we have just gone through our checklist uh, doing peer assessing of what we wrote. All right, uh, we are going to give uh, feedbacks to our friends of uh, their recount. You are going to see, for example, you give two ticks for your friend if he or she has included some of these things in the checklist. Okay, uh, a question mark if they did not include any of those and they maybe need to be improved in their account. Alright, well we have uh, come to the end of the recount. Uh, text, right? Uh, we have gone through the week looking at the familiarization of, of familiarizing ourselves with a recount. We then come up with some uh, ideas for writing our recount and I showed you how to write some of the recounts before you write your own. So we have also ended today by looking through our own work from our friends which is also very interesting. Okay, well that's the end of our process in writing. I believe and hope that you have learned quite a lot this week. Good day.